So I'm going to reach in here. And there's lifting points for the transformer core, but I, I can't get it out. So while this is dripping, before we can get a look in there, um, we'll talk about this. So um, this is, from what I can see, there are three big resistors here that sit under oil, so they're obviously very high voltage resistors. Um, this is probably for a metering setup of some sort. It goes to a BNC connector on the top, and there's a matching one on the back. Um, each half of this is pretty much a mirror, so even though you can't see the back, don't worry about it. Um, there are solenoids up on top that pull these up, and they bring them into contact. There's three wires here and three wires here, um, and when it comes up, it just puts this in contact here and this in contact here. When it's down, these are totally isolated. So when that's up, it connects down to this side and that side. So that's just like a safety kill feature, I'm guessing. Um, it's a really neat way to do it. And these are designed to hold oil. They've got cups in them and all that. And that's pretty much all that's on the top is just the input-output terminals. These are the output terminals. These are what's called a federal-style connector. They're for really high-voltage stuff. They use these for like 25,000 volts up to 75,000 volts. Um, the voltage on this uh, doesn't give the output volts. It says HE100, so I'm guessing that's 100 kilovolt output, but uh, it dates to October of 86, and yeah, it really doesn't tell us a whole lot. So it's obviously a high voltage transformer. Um, it's got a switched output, it's got metering, uh, it's, it's certainly for x-ray use, so this is, my guess is, an x-ray transformer. So, because it looks and smells and tastes and feels just like every other x-ray transformer I've ever been inside. So yeah, we're going to take a look inside now and uh, show you guys the inside of an x-ray transformer. So here, let's take this and we'll just put this away. Alright, so now I have a socket wrench, thanks to Mikey, and a very long extension. Which is perfect in height. <laughs> That's all right. We needed this extension. Um, all right, Mike, while I'm doing this, I want you to put the forks um, perfectly together right in the middle while I loosen these. Going to go up a little bit and get that out of my way? Oh, okay. When you're working like this, you want to pull the wrench out till it's flat and then take the bolt and the nut and the washer and set them aside. Whenever you have this in there, always have a bottom hand on so that you don't lose something inside. Every, everything stays in your hand all the time. Yeah, just put them right next to each other. For me, whenever you're working on a transformer, you're going to get covered in oil. Just it's, it's part of the deal. For me, I tend to use my left hand as my oil hand. And remember that oil will cling to things, so if you tilt this down like that, it's going to run up your arm. Um, when you lift up your arm, keep your elbow bent, and it'll keep you from getting oil down your shirt. Though, if you do this long enough, that's pretty much inevitable. You're going to get oil down your shirt. And you can reach in there, and there's really no way to show this, but under the surface, that's how I'm grabbing it, by the washer, so that that doesn't happen inside. Now the oil is super clean, super dry. In fact, the most contaminated the oil ever got was the minute I stuck my arm inside it, most likely. It's been in there for 20 years now. And... It's probably still very, very clean, very, very dry. Um, if you're going to be using this oil for high voltage use and put it back into service, you want to drain the oil off as quick as you can. It is better to do this on a relatively dry day. Don't do it when it's really hot and muggy and humid out um, because the oil will absorb moisture and humidity right from the air. All right, Mike, I need the chain. This is going to suck so bad. Um, I don't know if I can 
get that on it. All right, come up overhead with the forks. How far above you? Uh, give me like two foot above the thing. Just come on up. That's good. Come to me. Come right to me. You're cool. Stop right there. All right. Um, come here. Take the big end. Toss it over. Out where it's dry. <laughs> Ahoy, cow. All right. You're cool. Yes. Now I'm gonna see if this will bite. Give me a little. Thank you. Ah. I don't. I don't feel good about that. I don't have a big enough lifting eye. See the see the eye on the transformer. It's not a very big lifting eye. I want a I want a bigger hook. Um, yeah, I'll be set for that. And it was this end that I'm concerned about. Um, Can we do the? Yeah, but I need something to loop it through. Um, give me a carabiner. Go go get a carabiner. Here, give me that. And I'll I'll do that end. All right, you you get a carabiner. I got a plan. I've got a dream. Got a carabiner. Okay, you got a carabiner. And I'm going to put... Now, the transformer has four lifting eyes, two back here and two back here. So there's one, two, three, four. I'm doing that back one and this front one, provided I can see what I'm doing. I'm trying... Oh, that sucked. I was trying really hard not to get two wet hands and... Instead, I just got a wet shirt instead. But this hand's totally soaked. Screw it. All right. That microphone's going to smell uh, like oil for weeks. Oh, yeah. Oh, come on. Anybody who's ever worked it? And the microphone smells like a beer. All right. Um, lift up a little. Let, yeah, lift up a little. I'm going to put some slack through the chain. Keep going. Stop. All right. All right, give me a little tension. Stop. All right, now we're going to do this. Can you get me some paper towels, please? We're, we're going to do this nice and slow and gentle. Now we've got a grip on our transformer. I only saw four bolts, and it's a welded seamless tank pretty much, so there's no way to get any other ones in there. So that's, that's got to be all that's holding that transformer in there. Um, oh, thank you. <laughs> Oh, that's a fun time. It softens hands while you build transformers. Hey, Madge! I soaked in it! Give me another one. <laughs> that's a pretty color. That's a pretty color, isn't it? Okay, Mike, are we ready to do a lift? Okay, I'm going to take a step back, bring it up, bring it up slow. Should I move back first? Uh, no, you're fine, you're fine. Oh, it's moving. Whoa, whoa, you got a problem. Down? Yeah, I would set it down. Okay, hang on, hang on, right there. Now, what did we do wrong? There's, I got our four bolts out. Give me a little tension on this so I know nothing's going to slide. Stop. Come on up. Yeah. Okay, okay. Come up slow. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Okay, stop there. Now, what we have is a lot of weight in the air and a lot of dripping happening. We're just going to let this drip. Oh, my nose itches. Uh, <laughs> All right, now let's take a look at what we've got here. Um, bring, the, bring the camera over on this side so people can see this. 